back in these gross clothes. Look at me. Where is the hardware store? The goo and the grossness. This is not easy. Uh, today's Long Beach flea. Sculptural artistic era. But like, look at the vibe. When I, when I like something, I will put it in my basket right away. I will carry it around. You will never be alone. Indigo sunset. Guys, welcome back to the vlog. Feeling Romeo and I woke up this morning and we're just like, we should go hiking. Kinsley has been um, not enjoying this DIY project of stripping the beams because we have her blocked out of it because it's so messy. Watch, I'll show you. So we have everything tarped off because we were using so many combinations of materials, like a little bit of sanding here. It's a whole lot. And we need to go to the hardware store and find a solution and get some more, uh, sandpaper if that's going to be how we're going to do them but they are looking really good this part over here looks great then we kind of get into this well this is sanded see and i don't want to sand i want it i want to see the groove so i just don't know what to do so we're going to go figure it out today this little white part you know up here is where we stop and we're like okay let's take a breather let's you know and then we put stripper and plastic wrap on this beam we had started there and it wasn't coming off it's like sometimes i look around when i've made this much mess in a room and i'm like oh my gosh i remember the days that i couldn't do this stuff like before the cottage before this house we rented you know so we could only change the paint color i mean granted i could do a little bit um but we couldn't change the art shape and strip the beams and do like really meaningful work. And we didn't want to because we didn't want to invest in someone else's property, you know? Uh, it was around that time when we were in the apartment where I, I, I was playing a lot of like interior design games. And actually a big thank you to today's sponsor. I have to show you, let me grab my phone. I have to show you, it's a game that I've been playing like to wind down at night and like still do my fun interior work um, without, you know, lifting so much as a muscle. I just, just my fingers. Okay, it's called Home Design Makeover and you actually help clients redo a space in their house. I was playing one last night. It was a living room. It was called Living Room Disaster, I think. So you have to play a little like jewel matching game to gain coins to buy stuff for the room. I like that they create a blueprint to show the client so of like the general direction that it's going to go so that you can kind of get an idea of what the room is gonna look like when you start to fill it. I finished it already. It's so cute. It's just like, it was on a budget. She wanted to make sure that she could afford all of the pieces in the direction that they wanted to go. Julia will pop up and tell you adding an ottoman not only provides like, you know, some fluidity in the room, but also function. Um, lighting is the most underestimated thing about a room. It's incredibly underestimated. Don't, don't skip out on the lighting. So it'll actually teach you along the way, which is, is kind of cool. I need to unlock all these other levels to get to the pool one, because I'm very much in our like pool area and also the Parisian home room thing i want to <laughs> like i want to get to those so i keep um playing all of the levels to get there um it's so much fun it's free to download you guys definitely should try it i have a qr code on the screen uh, that you guys can scan to get it on your phone and start playing or i'll leave it in the description box below you guys are all going to download it and pass me on what level i am because i've only been pay playing it at night but it's so much fun so addicting so join me in home design makeover um, by clicking the link in my description or using the qr code i'm virtually having fun playing the game and I am having fun doing this room. I think we're gonna make a lot of progress today. We just wanna get some exercise in and go for a hike first. So Romeo's getting ready right now and um, we're gonna head out, run to the hardware store too to get some solutions for some problems that we're having on the beams uh, and then head back and see what we can do because we've got we've got one beam almost done. We need to tackle the second one and like finish these beams. I wanna finish the beams today. There's a Lowe's here. We're talking about hardware stores. We used to come to Runyon all the time, but we usually start at the bottom. And now there's a parking lot kind of at the top, so we're starting at the top. And then, I don't know, we're gonna figure out our new path.
I've never walked that much before doing the stairs. We go up all the stairs. It wasn't bad, actually, but it's my first time. When's the last time we came to Runyon? Since like fall, I think. Like, I haven't been this year so far, for sure. No. It was, it is nice. Oh, this June is like the perfect time to hike up here. There's no sun because there's no coverage here. You can't stand, you know, below the trees. It's all sun the whole time. I'm all like flush and stuff. We're at the hardware store. Of course we need more sandpaper. Did you think of anything else we needed? Romeo's very happy. He just got his car fixed. His clutch is <laughs> clutching again. <laughs> so we need to stay in the beams. And I'm like, okay, which, which do we do? I want him to mash the ones in the dining room, obviously, um, because that was what was kind of original. I thought I was gonna have to use a gel stain, but I don't really like the colors. Like, I don't want black. Okay, I looked at this, like the gel stain, the colors. Kona is exactly what I need. And it's dark, but it's not black. And I found it. <gasps> this is epic. Romeo just had the best idea. He was doing research on paint removal while we were in the aisle. They have these wire brushes that you can put on the drill. I can kiss him right now. Where, 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 where was this brilliant mind of yours yesterday when we were struggling? Brilliant, I tell him. Wow, this is amazing. We're gonna try this because we have a whole nother bean to go and then like many more beans in the house to go. Okay. <sighs> I'm back in these gross clothes. Look at me. Look at this. We made it back from the hardware store and I have, every time we, we go out and, and I shower and do everything, like I change into like somewhat decent clothes or cute clothes. Then I come back and I put on these same grungy clothes because I have ruined, like stripping things is the messiest DIY that you could do, I feel. It's like the goo and the grossness that it's like it's it's ev it's everywhere but it's like i'm not i don't want to ruin something else so i just keep putting on the same clothes over and over again i know you don't get to go in that room you will when it's done yeah to see all mama's work <sighs> so we are getting back to it um let me show you romeo's brilliant idea i was like what i don't know why i didn't research it i just kind of went with what i knew but you know, going through the process of, of stripping these, I realized that I don't want to sand. I actually want the texture of the wood more so. Like I want them to feel real raw and then be stained, you know? So that part kind of right there where we sanded is really smooth and it does, it's not going to give me the, it's still not fine. I mean, it's up on the ceiling, but you know, I was like, okay, we don't want to sand, but we want the stuff to be gone. So here's what we got. They had these that were relatively inexpensive. They are crimped wire wheels. Uh, I got two different sizes, uh, four inch and two inch, and they attach to your drill. So that way I can put these on the drill and basically do with these what I was doing with by my hands. That was like killing my arms. I was gonna be ripped for summer <laughs> if I had to do all of these, but like, I need them to be wet and like get into the grooves. So I wanna use these two. So I got those two and then also like a kind of a cup one, wire cup brush that I think will work for me to turn, you know, my hand a different way. We're gonna test all of these right now. And I got some gloves just in case I needed some to clean all of our, our materials after. And the stain, Kona, I wanna test it. And you guys will already see what they look like by now. Go watch the video if you haven't already because we are exploring, you're seeing all the behind the scenes of us exploring all of these things. Look how gross the floor is, you guys. That's all, that's all swept up stuff. That's all the goop that stayed. Okay, we're gonna take a stab at this stuff. You guys, this is not easy. I feel so gross. This is the messiest DIY. I've ever done. And it's very similar to the doors, but at least we had the doors laid down. This is like over your head. So it's like falling all over. How's your side doing? Mine's hard. <laughs> no, you're doing great. Yours looks really, like that one being like finished. I'm hoping that the second layer works. <gasps> you guys, it's been a few days and I can feel every muscle in my body is like sore. Like, like, 
waking up, I, f I feel better now because I've been up for like two hours or so just getting my video live for today. So if you haven't seen it, <laughs> go check it out. We restored the beams in the main room. I'll show you, but just go check out the video. Like such a long process. We cleaned up the mess multiple times. It was just a lot, but waking up is like the worst because I feel like my muscles are so sore and so fatigued. And then I wake up and I chug water and drink my coffee and I feel a little better. Like I'm still really sore, but it like, it's fine. So we're getting a little bit of a late er start to the flea market today. Uh, today's Long Beach flea. I'm gonna wear my new purse. I just like to wear crossbody bags to the flea market because then it's like everything's handy, like right here in front of me. Um, so I was like, this one's cute. I got this one from Zara. She was just like so cute with her little feet. We are gonna stop and get uh, some more coffee on the way because I'm like fading. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. I don't, um, again, I don't know what I'm looking for, but now we are officially in decorating phase of this room. Oh, you guys are a little dirty. You've been through things. I'm sorry, you really have, you've been through things. But we're officially in decorating phase of this room. I, oh, I still have my lights on. Look at these beams, you guys. It's how they were supposed to be because that's the way that they are in here. And we're just slowly restoring this house, like the, the parts that need to be restored and um, just really giving it like vibe and mood. And now with this color, and you can see like the color, we painted the whole room now, even the arches, except for this part here, because I need to do some work on the inside. But see how subtle they are? They're just like wall texture. They're not really like in your face like they were with, you know, like the different colors that we had, like the white and the brown. You know, that was all the under parts. Um, but now you can really see like the vibe come to life. And with the paint color now, I love the stairs white. I think it makes them really pop, but I still want to add more detail. Um, but we'll just paint them white. But I love that they tie into the windows. And so in the next episode, we are going to work on the stairs. We're going to decorate and I need to paint the back of the door. I actually, <laughs> it slipped my mind because during this project, we had the door open with the fan blowing everything out all week. Um, so it wasn't, I didn't see it, you know, like the other side of the door is black, you know, so I kind of got used to seeing it like that, which makes me see, which makes me know that I want to paint it like darker. Ooh, it's kind of chilly outside. 9.30 now. So we're going to be a little later than we normally like to get to the flea markets, but it's okay. I mean, we, I've, I don't need to kill myself. I had to get my video done and just like move <laughs> this morning. So this is. 9.30 is an accomplishment. Yeah. We have made it. We hit a little bit of traffic. There's still tons of people here, but some people are leaving. Uh, Cause it is now 11. <laughs> we stopped to get coffee and forgot that there was a farmer's market. Um, so it was a little bit difficult to get to, but I had already ordered it. It was a whole, it was a whole situation and we wanted it. So we wanted Alfred. Still overcast, 68 degrees. I thought the sun came out last month and I got sunburned. You have sunscreen? Yeah. You promise, yeah. right? You should be able to reach. Nope, that's <laughs> car cleaner. Armor all. Is it in the same pocket? Oh, yes. Okay, we have arrived. Cart is empty. Let's see what we can find. There's a lot of people here today, so it's kind of hard to like maneuver. I want like some pretty things to put on the fireplace, babe. You know, like pretty things to put on the fireplace since that's just decorative. I've never had a fireplace that doesn't have a TV over it. I have several old cameras that I need to start taking film with. I think it'd be so cool. Oh. Babe, I should I should do my use my film cameras to take pictures of our garden. Oh yeah. If it's not clear yet, I have an obsession with our garden. If you, if you haven't gathered so far, but I do. I have film cameras. I, wonder, I think they're here, not in Texas. I should finish the roll that I started so we can finally see what's on it. <laughs> Cool. 
How much are you asking for these bookends? Uh, they're like $30. For the set? Mm -hmm. They're pretty, but they're a little messed up. I don't know. This booth normally has some really like quality pieces because he does research and he puts the papers with them. He had a beautiful pansy piece that I regret not getting before. I think about it every time too. When I regret, when I regret, I regret hard. Oh my God, look how cool this is. Like a little men's grooming kit. I don't see any pieces. See like they have the, the papers up there. Oh my gosh. 85. What are you made out of? Oh, a gorilla. This is really cool. Oh, I should text Drew and see if he's here. Look how pretty these are. Okay, yeah. She uh, asking uh, 35 each oh. or $70, um, $60 for the two. I see. They're pretty. A little mm -hmm. bit too much, but that's pretty. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Look how pretty. It was marked $125. It came down to $80, and then I offered $75. It's not signed or anything, but he doesn't know for sure if it's like behind, but the frame. Look at the frame. And I got this frame for 20 bucks. And look how cool these are. Look how much bigger the top is than the bottom. Like, I love that look. I mean, it's a very, like, specific style. Look at this. Antique English ebonized Windsor chair, early 1800s. I mean, they're $300 a piece, but they're, like, so cool. I love them. I love that the outside spindles are different than the inside ones. So a vendor let us know about Brimfield. Brimfield? Not oh, Brimwood. Brimfield mm -hmm. in Connecticut. It's a week long. And we should go. He said it's in Connecticut. And it's in July. But he said the best time is go is May. But we obviously missed May. <gasps> but it says Woodlocker on it. I'm still trying to build that installation for Romeo's room, like finding vintage basketball. This one's so bad. I'm just gonna have to find some over time and like rough them up a little bit. We got one. We found one in our yard. That's a plus. I realized that I'm looking for some fabrics. I wanna make some DIY cord covers for our lamps. Um, and I need, I remember that there's a, a vendor here with some fabrics that are really pretty, but I want them to be kind of like subtly vintage. Not like, kind of patterned, but not solid, you know? Okay, this is where I normally, I got some of these before. Maybe they, I was thinking maybe they had some vintage kind of fabrics. Vintage European linen, $10. I didn't want them like too light. Like I wanted there to be like a print on them. Not like solid, but these are really cool. Paint pattern rollers. Look how cool these are. Make like a pattern. Isn't that neat? Like what would you do it on? Like maybe a piece of furniture or something? Look how cool. Wow. You guys, I am obsessed with this. Look at what I just got. This is so heavy. It's copper, handmade. Look at the seam. Where's the seam? Look at the seam. We were just chatting about it with the vendor. This is a brass bottom. It's so heavy. He, it's marked 45, but he came down to 40 just immediately. I just like thought it was so neat. For my flowers. Look at my Ford hat. It's Look so at cool. his Ford hat. Okay, this was the vendor that I was looking for that had the fabrics. Now, these are expensive. So we'll see. A cord cover doesn't need to be too expensive. I see a basket of fabric. This is what I'm kind of looking for. Look how pretty that is. This cabinet's pretty. Look at the handles. It's like off center. Look how beautiful this is, you guys. The color. They close at two? Oh, we could get here late. What time is it right now? 1:45. One forty-five. No wonder everybody's packing up. Oh, three. We have an hour. Okay. Look at this, I got it. 25, it's solid marble. The color's really pretty. I'm very much in my like sculptural artistic stage. You know, I also got this fabric. It was half off of $5. So, and she didn't have change, so it was $2. Look how cute these are. I love them. This is so cute. Okay, the sun just came out and everyone's backing up. So I think that that's our cue. I found some things today that I didn't even know that looking for that's usually dangerous but i did find some goodies oh, i'm still I look everywhere for vintage basketballs but i found everything in between all baseball stuff oh i walked too far i think 
Alright, where'd you go? I just kept walking straight. Yeah, so everyone's starting to kind of pack up. It's only open for an hour more. I've never understood that packing up early thing, but I get it. It's rough waking up so early. We got some goodies. Nothing too crazy, you know. We don't need to pick up any furniture. And the sun did start to come out. I am hungry. I love this. I'm in my sculpture era. Sculpt sculptural artistic era. This is so pretty. Okay, we just made it to Cha. If you are ever in Long Beach at the Long Beach Flea and you like boba, Cha for tea it has the best boba <laughs> of all time. We tried it all them all. I love them, their boba. They also have the chicken and rice. <gasps> I'm so excited, I'm so hungry. <sighs> we made it home. That's a long drive. <laughs> We just, it was long and we were stuck in traffic. Oh, I love it in this room. It's gonna be the best fucking room in the house and it's like gonna be a pass-through room. But now that this room is is kind of like quote unquote renovated and then we'll be decorating it, we'll see how much time we'll use it then. You know, I can't imagine like needing a, a sitting area and a living space here and a living space there. You know what I mean? Like this was a very formal like, I don't know. I, I just can't imagine us using it. That's why I want us to turn it. Hello! That's why I want to turn it into a formal dining room because I feel like we can expand the kitchen and turn this into a dining room with a fireplace. That's like a whole vibe and then have a, you know, a really beautiful formal sitting for dining. I feel like that would be gorgeous if we can make it work with like the entry and things. So I don't know. We're, we're going to um, explore all the options later, but it looks really good right now. I have a little haul that we can do. I bought one, two, three, four, five, six things. <laughs> First thing I bought was this. A frame, great size, eight by 10. Eight by 10s are like go-to. Maybe we can pull out the art that I have for the gallery wall um, and see what, I don't know how it how it's coming along. I've collected some, some art over the last couple of trips to the flea market uh, to build the gallery wall up, you know, going up the stairs because I just think that would be awesome i like that i like it better there than i do on this wall and i can't have two you don't want two fighting walls like that you need like noise and calm you know so uh we can pull everything out but i got this one this is beautiful i even like it even more in this room now that we're home in this room um there wasn't any signature inscription of any kind um, but he was like i didn't take it out and i have been finding with some of mine uh, that were maybe like originals that had been reframed. They're hiding the signature. So he said, I didn't try and take it out to see if it was on the side or anything or down below. Like, look, like that's in the viewfinder. This looks gorgeous on camera, but like, look at the vibe. Look at like this. I was like, I need this for the gallery wall. And the longer I stood there, the cheaper it got. <laughs> but I was looking for vases. So I came across this one first it's copper and brass it's so cool it's clearly hand done handmade you can see the imperfections you can see where the copper has been um, put together here and he said he had another one that just needed to be tightened on the bottom because there's a little screw that if i came back next month and was there early enough he might still have it he said they were all different sizes he said they very much could be vases or he was like, I was even thinking they might, he said that, I, he said, and I quote, I was even thinking that they might be some sort of musical instrument. Like if you hit them, like listen. Like if they were different heights, would they make different noises? I don't know. He was just kind of saying that. I was like, that's cool. I was like, whatever. I was like, when I, when I like something, I will put it in my basket right away. I will carry it around. I don't know what, it's like an attachment thing. I don't know what about it. Like when I'm really excited about something, I'm like, I'll hold it. You know, and I'll like walk with it for like, you know, a little ways down and then I'll finally put it in the basket. But this was one of those things. And then I found this face. Very, gives me like very like sculpture, chiseled stone vibes. I'm very much in that era right now. I don't know what it is but i'm i'm loving like stones like this that are just like very organic like there's nothing else to them there's no additional like metal put on them it's like i like all or nothing you know like i'm very much that i don't like i'm not into like mixing per se in the 
specific piece, but this is solid marble. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. So imagine this, you know, in my bathroom with my roses or just as a sculptural piece. Then I was also looking for vintage fabrics. What I want it for is to actually make um, cord covers. Um, I have a floor lamp over there with just the cord kind of stretched and I want to make a bunched kind of cord cover. I don't know, this one was just pretty. I don't know if I'll use it. And then I walked up to this booth and I was like looking at this. This. <laughs> I was like, what is this? <laughs> that was like what I thought. I'm like, okay, it's some kind of box. So I started like kind of pulling out the top. I was like, what? I was like, it suctioned really hard. And then I turned it. I rarely have seen a stone piece like this with a screw top. It's all stone. What, what do you do with this? Like it's even got like a little um, rubber, rubber ring. What do you do with this? I realize you could put anything you want in it, but is there a specific purpose for this? Let me know in the comments what I really bought it for. I mean, it was just like a cool kind of structural kind of piece. Really cool. I don't know, comment down below what you, if you think um, of something. I thought maybe I could put like matches in it, like fireplace matches, but I think that they're definitely too tall. Um, they're taller than this. So no, I thought it was cool, but I wasn't gonna buy it. And then the longer I stayed there to try to figure out what it was, the pr he kept dropping the price, right? It was basically like, here, just take it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I was like, okay. So stay tuned in the renovation video on Sunday. Uh, you guys, I'll have this week to work on it because it's Sunday when I'm filming this. So I'll have a whole week. I'm gonna rest tomorrow. Usually Mondays are my computer work days. Dive into decorating. I, I am happy that majority of the work, the hard work is done in this space and it's really coming to life in such a beautiful way. Like. It feels so calm in here. And with the added, like, light, like I have one light on that's artificial that I used to film with. Um, but once I bring the lamps back in, you know, like it's just gonna be <laughs> such a vibe. <laughs> I'm very excited. So stay tuned for how the room comes together in terms of decorating uh, this Sunday, um, because I think it's going to be pretty epic. I hope you guys like this room. It's uh, a labor of love already. You know what I mean? Bye guys. Kinsley!